I was having so much trouble with my heart. I couldn't walk. I couldn't uh, stand very long. Uh, I was out of breath. And my heart was going down. I was having heart attack on top, top of heart attack. Two years ago, Dennis Boggan faced a difficult decision. His heart was failing. He could continue living his life until it failed completely, or he could have a device surgically implanted in his chest that would force his heart to pump. I decided to have an nail bed, you know. I wasn't going to do it, but I had to because I wasn't going to live without it. Surgeons at UAB implanted Mr. Boggan with a ventricular assist device. Assist devices are used in patients who really have profound heart failure to the point where medicines and surgery just can't help them. The blood uh, is pulled out of the left ventricle through this tube that's implanted in the left ventricle. Uh, the blood is pulled out of the ventricle and pushed up into this Dacron tube that is sewn to the aorta. It's, it's made a better quality of life out on me. Uh, I, uh, I'm able to get up and go to church. Uh, I'm able to go to eat dinner. I'm able to uh, walk out to my chicken pen, play with my chickens, and play with my dog outside. Things like that. The Boggins take a serious team approach to Dennis's medical care. That's more the team right there. <laughs> but uh, she, uh, she takes excellent care to me. Dennis Boggin knows that without this life-saving pump, his future was uncertain. He credits his faith, his family, and his medical team with giving him the time he cherishes most now. I, oh, I think I'd be dead without the elbow. There's no doubt in my mind. Thank mm -hmm. you.